My name is John Atkins. Well, it is a relationship, and it is, it is the closest relationship I've ever had that I still have. And it is a relationship that kind of holds things together for me in my life. It gives me purpose, it gives me direction. I mean, I'm constantly talking to him. Um, it is, it, and my wife and I are very close, but it's, it's even closer than that. It is from the minute I get up to the minute I go to bed, that conversation, that, that, that drawing, that asking and, and wanting to be directed and, and to hear and to see as he would is kind of a constant thing. It, it's, it's the glue for me. Well, I really don't find any of it real difficult, but probably the discipline of spending time with the Lord, spending time reading um, and praying like I should, rather than than just the walking through the day, talking and and kind of trying to connect in that way, but the quiet time of of significance. That's probably what I find hardest to protect. Not really. I, I was raised in a Christian home, saved when I was six. I started preaching when I was 16. I mean, this is just, it's been ingrained in me the, my whole life. But there's an area of belief, faith, that I think maybe we all struggle with, and it's probably been the only thing that I've ever really struggled with, is not believing that God can, but that He will for me. And that has more to do with self-doubt, self-worth issues that, that I struggled with early. So never really doubted him in that sense, but it was whether or not I, I kind of measured up to be able to receive it, I guess. So in one way, no, I've never really struggled with the doubt. But uh, when you talk about faith, that there's a faith that God can do something, and then there's a faith he will do this for me. And if there's ever a struggle, it, it tends to be in that area. Well, really, it, in a lot of ways I'd say it hasn't, because uh, it, it's been a constant. Um, the relational part has gotten deeper. My understanding has gotten deeper. I kind of recognize when he's stirring or moving in me. So that has changed as I become more spiritually aware, if you will. Um, I was raised in a denominational church. Um, I have a bachelor's degree in theology in their colleges. I have a seminary degree in their universities. Um, and part of what we were taught, and I learned how to defend it, was um, that the gifts of the Spirit weren't the same today. And so if there's any one area where I have changed kind of my theology, if you will, it's in that area, and being able to see that the gifts of the Spirit are still in operation. Uh, it's not emotional-based things, but it is very real. And so that part has changed. 